Welcome to day 14. I realized on yesterday's video, um, I neglected to proof it down a little bit and see what happened. But I did it after I turned the camera off. <laughs> and, and it was better before I'd added water. It was still really great. Okay, so this is Nakdu. Now remember we talked about Nakdu. Day 14, nine year old Nakdu, 80 rat ray bottling. Um, and it was the Malt Whiskey Company yesterday that did that bottling. And man, they just chose that one so well. Um, 80 Rat Ray is one that you can actually get a lot of their stuff in the US and I've always been a fan of their releases. Um, not do, we tried because on, uh, it's Anok is their, the name that they're releasing everything under because they're trying to separate themselves from the, is it Nakandu or Nakando? Uh, there's another distillery that sounds very similar. They're trying to keep their brands separate. And so um, what I'm interested in is how AD Rat Ray is releasing a Nakdu instead of an Anok. Even though it's only nine years and it was distilled in 2009 and it was way before that that Nakdu started using the name Anok. So I wonder if when someone's doing a private bottling they switch to the original distillery name. I'd be curious about that. It's an interesting choice. All I know is um, I do like Anok, and, and we tried their peat heart, and it was really good. Um, I like everything that Anok has done so far that I've tried. We've got about five or six bottles of different variations of Anok, because they're releasing all these things now, no age statement, specialty things. Okay, so right, right at the beginning, there's this, just like yesterday, there's this same kind of rich, uh, slightly medicinal, earthy, loamy note to the base of this. I'm wondering if I'm starting to pick up on a space side characteristic when you're not going into the butterscotch direction, you're going into the fatter, fruity ester. Because this is perfumey, it's not a lot, not smoky. It's perfumey and fruity, but when you first pick it up, it's got this rich medicinal range around it. But as soon as your brain gets past that, it's all fruit and butter and more classic Speyside characteristics. That one's weird. I like it because it's not, um, it's not predictable. I feel like that just changed three times. Um, usually I get sort of a journey of a round, like watching a firework or like watching, right? But this one, this one, you ever play with those things when you were a kid where you, you look through the is it kaleidoscope? and you spin the outside and all the reflections and mirror images of things changed all their shapes. I feel like that's what just happened. The nose was sort of one thing. It was very fruity and sort of simple, not overly complex, but not just pure sugars. Um, and then I took a sip and from the moment it hit my tongue to the moment it spread and then when I swallowed it and then the aftertaste, it just went, just changed and changed and changed. Um, it's not that it was fractured. It was one thing, but it was one thing that just changed its skin multiple times. Wow, and the nose hasn't changed. I come back to it, it's still honey and sweet fruit. No, it did it again. Um, it's 59%, that's really hot. I sort of wonder if the high proof is creating a high speed evaporation once it hits my 98 degree mouth. And that high speed evaporation as I swallow it and taste it and spread it is opening up all of these things. So if I proof it down a little bit, I'm wondering if it will gain a more unified direction as opposed to this just push. It, um, I'm picturing like a cloud in my head that's moving so quickly it's just changing shape. You ever see those um, 
uh, camera shots of clouds as they of cloud of storm front rolls in and they they uh, speed it up times a hundred and it just goes just boils through. That's what it feels like. Okay, now all of that medicinal uh, phenol notes, uh, phenol notes, and people give me shit. All my science chemistry friends are like, it's phenol, not phenol, but it's actually phenol. And if you're texting, it's phenol. <laughs> P-H-E-N-O-L. Give me shit for it if you like. I'm used to it. Nah. It did make it one thing. It tamed the boil. But it got really boring. Um, that's just a... Alright, let's, let's do that again. <laughs> Let's go back to what it was before, because I added water, it's just, nah, nah, it's just, it tasted like vanilla and honey. That's better. This one needs to be at 60 to be interesting. But at 60, it is interesting. So, all right. Till tomorrow, may your crazy stay this side illegal, and may you return before we have time to miss you. Cheers.